Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to Jed Mundell Official right now. Welcome to another episode of BTS Tuesdays here on Jet Modelo Official. And to those who just subscribed, thank you so much. And to those who haven't subscribed, please, 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 um, you know, after you finish watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe and watch the previous videos that we have uploaded here on my channel. All right, so today we are going to be doing a room tour as requested by a lot of our friends from the army, not the Philippine army, uh, but the BTS army. All right, so uh, a few days ago, I posted on my uh, social media accounts uh, photos of my uh, of some of my merch and uh, also a favorite corner that I have in my bedroom so uh, and I received a lot of um, messages from a lot of people um, requesting for a room tour or a merch tour or um, you know like a vlog saying uh, introducing or, or showing all my BTS collectibles I have a lot of stuff um, downstairs actually they haven't been displayed yet so eventually they're going to come out and be displayed in their own respective places but for now i am following an aesthetic it has to be like a little minimalist but sometimes it can also be messy but it's like um there's a term uh organized chaos yes. creativeness it's a creative mess yes but organized chaos so that's my peg here in my uh, in my bedroom um, so I'm gonna show you what I have right now. Okay, so starting out, I am here in my main door. Um, I wanna I wanna show you guys what's gonna you know greet you when you enter my bedroom. So the these are um, BTS um, okay frames. I'm I'm OC because it's stubbing it. There you go. All right, so these are like three paneled frames, um, which uh, is a sketch of the seven boys. Um, done by a designer of Dior, I think um, Kim Jones, I think, I'm not sure, but a designer of Dior who designed their outfits for a tour and um, I actually just, you know, this is a DIY actually. So um, as I go on, maybe you guys can, you know, get pointers on how to decorate your rooms. So this one, since I had a, a big plain wall here and this, this wall used to have um, a big frame that says Prada, which is now over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's it's way, way, way over there. But anyway, it's messy, so I don't go there anymore. So this is a three panel um, frame that I had uh, custom made. So I just got the sketch online. Um, and um, you know, you try to find the, the, the photo or the, the picture with the highest resolution all right so that it won't get pixelized so this was the the best you know uh, uh, quality that i could find but it's nice because the aesthetic is like it looks like a sketch so um yeah i divided them into three instead of just doing one entire panel or one entire artwork so you know there's like a modern touch to it so you can you guys can do that you just get the photo from the internet have it printed on canvas and then have it framed you have an instant artwork, all right? So nobody in the world has this, right? Just me and you guys soon, right? If you're gonna do that. All right, so we're gonna move on to the main part of my room, which is like, uh, okay, I'm not gonna show you the entire room because it's a mess. Okay, so one thing that really uh, establishes the aesthetic of a room or the theme of a, of a room is like the artworks on the wall. So when you get into my room, the first thing you see is the three panel artwork of BTS. And then next thing that you're gonna see is this acrylic frame of the boys um, in their um, latest Rolling Stone magazine cover. All right, so people are asking me, where did you get the poster? Cause there's no, I don't know if there's available posters, but what I do is, again, I search for high resolution photos in the internet and I have it printed. And I think it's okay because it's not the one for sale, diba? It's It's not for business purposes, it's for personal purposes because I think there are like copyright claims and stuff like that, trademark or whatever, you can't sell anything, right? So uh, this is just for personal, you know, uh, use. So what I do is I get the photo on the internet and I go to my uh, trusted printing press. Shout out to uh, Simwan. Becca naman, you guys, give me a discount. No, just kidding. 
it's a pandemic and it's a business, so full support. Um, no, because we just call them and then we just email and then they already know my specifics and you know, a day or two, even just less than 24 hours actually, I just asked them to print this last night. So I got this this morning. All right. So uh, yeah, what's good about these acrylic frames, uh, they're, they're a little pricey, but you can change them. I have a couple more backup um, BTS photos, uh, posters, and you guys just have to unscrew these parts and then just slide it in. It depends, depends on your mood, okay? So there you have it. Posters really um, give um, an extra oomph to your uh, aesthetic. All right, so let's move on. Okay, this part over here is, uh, well, it's a very minimal shelf, actually. And uh, this one's from my cousin, Daniel. Dani, thank you so much for this shelf. And as you can see, these are collectibles as well. Um, these are rare collectibles, vinyl collectibles of uh, the Bangtan Boys. They were called Bangtan Boys pala dati. Until now, but then it's more of BTS now. Dati, they were called the Bangtan Boys. And these are like the monsters, like rap monsters, uh, vinyl toys. One of their very first few characters before BT21 pa ata. This was the first ones that they released. So, uh, yeah, it's nice. Very minimal, very... It has aged to it already because it's not white anymore. <laughs> it's like off-white already because it's like really, really, really old. But I was able to get an, a complete set. I, I have their boxes, but of course I kept it. And um, this one is another collectible that I have. This one is the Bare Brick uh, BTS in 400%. Because the 100% is really tiny. I have it downstairs. Um, but this one is uh, the bigger version. We unboxed it so to those who watched my videos here in my channel you already saw this but then sometimes that's how I work you know that's how I design my room I buy stuff and they don't have any specific places yet but eventually I find a good spot for them so uh, there you have it this is the bear brick the BTS bear brick there and I think the logo is at the back there you go and it's gonna go here perfect right i hope it doesn't fall though but since it's vinyl it's just gonna you know scratch if it falls <laughs> it's not gonna break but i just hope that it doesn't okay so there you have it guys so i am going to move on to uh, my favorite corner of my room and uh you know this was just a work in progress it was not built in a day um it was like uh an event event uh i built it eventually sooner or later sooner or later all right so let's move on to my favorite corner which is my work area over here see guys this is my work area this is my favorite spot actually you can see like the camera over here <laughs> okay so this is my work table um actually it was a gift on my birthday and what's nice about this table is that it is, uh, it's automatic, which I don't know how to do. Is it even plugged? Hold on. A few moments later. Okay, so this is like the table that, uh, you know, goes up and down. There you go. There you go. It also can go down. There you go. Nice, right? Amazing. Isn't it? Amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> Surprising pala. Isn't it amazing? Amazing. Isn't it surprising? <laughs> surprising. Isn't it? Okay, so what do I have? Okay, this is the latest addition to uh, the setup. This is uh, my customized BTS gaming chair. And I got this from... Uh, I just saw this online. All right, so I got this from Facebook. It's uh, from MMS Customized Gaming Chair. And uh, it's not sponsored, okay? But you know me, I help. I help promote people, you know? So this is my customized BTS chair. It's uh, it's kind of actually comfy. And it's, it's customized because there's like, you know, um, an embroidery over here. The logo, life goes on. 
And of course, this is the BTS and the ARMY logo in one. And of course, at the back, it's another logo. Okay, this is nice because there's a headrest. And what's nice about this also, guys, this has a back massager over here. So all you have to do is just plug the USB for here. There, there's a USB plug. So I'm just keeping it there. Okay, so what else does it have? It's, it comes with like a footrest over here. And it says, love yourself, guys, come on. Love yourself. Okay, so it slides back in. So this is my table. And what do we have here? Okay, so I also have this uh, oversized mouse pad. It's like a computer table pad. It's, uh, it's rubber. I don't think this is an official merch. This is just, I just got this online. Um, try searching online on your favorite shopping apps. Yeah. And then what else do we have? I have, this thing over here is, is a, you know, a charger, charger box. How? I have no idea. No, just kidding. Yeah, the charger is inside. So all the cables and all, everything's gonna be in there. So if you're OC with cables, that's the reason why I bought this, but I haven't like arranged it yet. Okay, so that's the extension box. What else do we have? Of course, I uh, bought a purple microphone. <laughs> I have no idea why I bought the purple microphone. Sale. It was during the sale. 7-7 seven, seven sale, or this purple microphone comes with a purple sound card, which I haven't used yet. Okay, so and all these stands that you see are all white so that it all looks clean. And then this is a computer stand, like a computer uh, rack or something, just to elevate the computer a little bit, like an elevator. Elevator? Computer elevator. Elevator. elevator, elevating rack or something. Yeah, so you're gonna see why I have this. And also, I also have the BTS Samsung phone. Ta-da! Of course, over there. Can you see the logo? There you go. So I just put this because, you know, to protect it from scratches. And then I also have the BTS um, buds. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so what else do we have? Okay, I saw this in uh, a lot of, of K-pop uh, inspired rooms, I don't know. But I see this a lot, just like digital clock for here and uh, yeah it kind of gives it a, a nice aesthetic and when I wake up it's the first thing I see <laughs> yeah because my big clock is above me so I can't like look up this is the first thing I see because it glows all right so uh, this guy over here well I, I just like him um, because he uh, kind of reminds me of voodoo but look at this guys I got this from Shein there you go it's light okay so you can just point this. We're gonna see that. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off the light later so you guys can see how it looks. Okay. So uh, this one is a phone stand. Uh, Ate Flor gave this to me. There you go. You can use that as a stand. There you go. So uh, I just put it there. And uh, of course, this one is not BTS. This this uh, round thing. This is uh, a gift from my tita and tito. My family, um, Tita Ani, Tita Jerry, Abby and Danny during my birthday. This is uh, the Apple HomePod. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, all I have to do is just say, Hey Siri, play BTS. BTS now playing. Hey Siri, stop. <laughs> okay, so. That's the stuff. Yeah, you have to stop it because we can copyright it. Right? Okay, so that's what's on my table over here. Um, what else do I have? Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I have. Oh, look at this, guys, over here. Just don't mind the, the cables, okay? I have this very cool contraption over here. Contraption. It's a basurahan. It's a garbage can, but look. Oh, and it glows. Hi. Again, again, again. Hui. Again, close, not then. See? He's a shy boy. 
Okay, anyway, yeah. Okay, so we have more posters over here. This is like their old Rolling Stone cover. And this is their Time Magazine cover. Same thing, I uh, got photos from the internet and had them printed and placed them in acrylic frames over there. Okay, so next, I'd like to show you my uh, collection over here, some of my collections. So uh, let's start out with what you have up here. This um, is one of my prized uh, possessions, well, prized uh, pieces from my BTS collection because this is like uh, a complete set of their art toys. It's vinyl and the boys are all there. And uh, it, this is based on a story actually. And I also have the BTS neon light over here. I got it from uh, an Instagram uh, seller, right? Yes. And what else do I have? I have, of course, the army bomb, light, light, light stick. And then this one's also from an online uh, Instagram seller. Um, it's a gift from them, the dynamite um, Spotify frame. All you have to do is just, you know, scan, and then it's gonna go to the dynamite song. That's the very first song that made that got me hooked with bts so it's very memorable over there and this one is also an acrylic um like a standee but it's a city because it's sitting down <laughs> it's v again all right so uh, that's over there and this one's a tiny tan magnet of, of v yep there you go and I also have this DIY tumbler. I actually just made it. I just printed this out. Kim Tae Young 95. That's it. All right. And I, actually, you can buy this on Shopee or Lazada. Yeah. No, container. This particular container. Yeah. Okay. And next is uh, the Tata alarm clock that has no batteries. Yeah. I just took out the battery because you know if you put batteries and you're not you're not using it. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna get, get destroyed. All right. And this one is um, a customized uh, Taeyang doll. I actually got this as a gift, um, the original one. And then I sent it to an artist, uh, which I also met from Instagram, and he customized the face to be more lifelike. There you go. And next, what else do we have next? Okay, we have another shelf here of uh, BTS merch. This one is the Learn Korean with BTS. Yeah, it's a, it's a book and there are like guidelines and there's a pen that you just go over the, the lines and it's gonna read for you. It's gonna teach you how to do uh, speak Korean. There you go. And this is uh, their last album, the B album. I have two. <laughs> I don't know. No, I bought one and somebody gave me another one. And I have the Map of the Soul Persona album. This is version one, two, three, and four. They're all sealed, by the way. And this one, as you can see, is... Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. This is so interesting because this is the BTS Jenga game. Look at this. See? But why would you play with something like this? Right? It's, it's, it's like crystal. It's like hard plastic. And if you play with it, it's gonna get scratched. So it stays in there. Let's, try, let's just buy those, you know... Um, the, the ordinary Jenga. And then repaint them na lang. Yeah, repaint them na lang. But anyway, yeah, that's that's my... Uh, I ordered this from the Weaver's store ata. Yeah, you have to be, uh, you know, a member there. There you go. And I have another army bomb over here. And when you buy the army bomb, it just comes as it is. These containers... I mean, this, these display, acrylic displays are also from sellers from Instagram. So you guys have to be resourceful. Just check out um, Instagram and look for these particular stuff. Okay, so this one is... I have another album. This is Map of the Soul 7, uh, The Journey. There you go. And this is another one. This is BTS 20... Um, 2016 BTS Live on Stage Epilogue. There you go. These are random DVDs. This one is. Oh, this is a puzzle. The BTS Map of the Soul 7 puzzle. Again, haven't been opened. There. The photos of the boys at the back. Okay, and next one is this book. 
that I think somebody saw this being read by one of the boys. Yeah, and then they bought it, and you know, lucky you, lucky uh, Wong Pyong Son, because BTS, you know, it, it appeared in one of their shows that you know one of them was holding this book, reading it, and it became a bestseller. Maybe it's really good. I haven't read it yet. Okay, and what else do we have here? We have um, BTS Now, BTS in Chicago 3. Don't go anywhere. I will take you there. Dreaming Days. There you go. All right. Haven't been opened yet. Or maybe I have, but I forgot. Okay, so that is shelf number three. Okay, shelf number four. Just don't mind this. Over here. This is the box of, of uh, the Jenga. All right. And, of course, I have DVDs over here. There are concerts in London, in Sao Paulo. And this one is Japan Edition. The best of... I don't know what that means. There you go. And it's, of, of course, sealed. Oops, I heard a CD. Okay, so that is the first shelf. And if you guys are asking about the shelf, we got this from Yori, right? Yori um, in Instagram, and they also have a website, I guess, right? Yeah, they're, they're, they're found in SM, all SM stores. Okay, so check it out. It's really nice, it's really nice. Thank you, Yori, for sending. I need one more. Like, I'm looking for the mega, the, the, the higher one, yeah. So, yeah, but you guys are out of stock. Yeah, I checked. <laughs> anyway, I have more over here. Okay, shelf number one. Uh, shelf number one from the second shelf. Uh, level one, second shelf. Okay. More albums. Level one, building B. Uh, building B. Okay, for me, I'm going to All right, so I have Map of the Soul 7, and this is like version 1, 2, 3, and 4. Of course, they're all sealed. I don't know what's inside. And I have the Love Yourself albums. It's like. Everything's there. It's look, look at this. There you go. Love yourself. But you know why it's like 12? Because it's per letter. L O V E Y O U R S E L F. Love yourself. And it's all sealed as well. Okay, next one, of course, we have wings and have four. Which is W I N G. Wing lang. <laughs> and then uh, we have their album uh, Too Cool for School for here. I think this is one of their first. And there's BTS You'll Never Walk Alone. Two versions. It's like the pink and the green. And I also have the School Love Affair, Dark and Wild, and. Ooh. I don't know how to pronounce this. Oh, are you late too? Oh, are you late too? Oh, are you late too? Wow. Creative minds come up with really, really creative titles. Yeah, and very confusing sometimes. All right, I also have this uh, moon lamp that I saw in one of their performances where they were playing with this moon lamp. You know me. I find it. And speaking of lamps, I have another lamp over here. This is the Taeyong ghost lamp. It's so funny because I I just saw this photo of Taeyong. Uh, I think he was sleeping. And uh, beside his bed, near the window, was this very obscure item. Because it was white, you can't actually see it. But if you're like a crazy fan, you're gonna see all the details. And this was like in one corner, of course. So I had to search for it and I was able to find it. But it was not that easy because um, this was a, already a long time ago. So there you go. There's a light. A certain kind of light. Shining. Shining down on me. All right. So there you have it, guys. And next one, I have all the Funko Pops of uh, BTS. My very first set um, were, there were, there was the one, no, the, the BTS uh, set over here. We have seven, of course. This is the OG set of Funko Pops. And the next one that I got was the BT21. Of course, they're, they're uh, cartoon characters down there. Excuse me, sir. 
No, just kidding. Yeah, you can s slide over there. Slide over Okay, so, and after that, I still have more albums over here. So, I have BTS World. I have uh, the fourth mini album. <laughs> the fourth mini album. This is four, actually, in different colors. Part one, part one, part two, part two. Diba? <laughs> and they also have, what's this one? Young Forever, and it's like two versions. It's like day and night. See? And I have an extra one over here. And I have uh, the special edition to uh, School Love Affair. There you have it, guys. So it's, it's all there. These are my, uh, these are some of my collectibles, BTS collections that I have like displayed here in my bedroom. I mean, isn't it amazing? <laughs> isn't it exciting? Oh wait, I, I, I have to show you something. At the floor also gave me a gift. Look, look. She gave me this. Oh, see how supportive Ate Floor is. Baka may kailangan sa akin. No, just kidding. Yeah, she gave me a purple extension cord, which uh, actually I, I'm gonna like attach it somewhere here. I don't know where though. Cause I'm very excited because after this uh, show and tell, show and tell, um, I am going to be uh, unboxing something very, very special. But before that, I, I wanna show you guys something that you guys can also order online that's gonna add a good aesthetic to your setup in your room. And it's, uh, it's a mood light. It's uh, a corner mood light. I think you've seen this all, um, all over the place in Facebook, right? And even in the marketplace, my Instagram. I, I, I received that uh, corner mood light um, as a gift. And well, of course I placed it on purple, but you, you guys can, you know, can customize it. There's a lot of colors. You can do just one color. You can do like a rainbow and you can do moving and you can, you know, adjust the speed fast or slow, slow or fast. So there you have it, guys. Um, that is my uh, special corner. All right. So this time I'm going to lead you to my uh, messy bed, messy bed. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be unboxing right now. Tara! Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Ooh. 